If you are watching this video, then the chances are you have already updated your Android to Marshmallow and you are looking out for the things to do on your updated Android. And this video is exactly about that. In this video, I will be discussing about top 5 things you must do after updating your Android to Marshmallow. So watch this video till the end and let's get started. The very first thing you should do after updating your Android is go ahead and install Android N keyboard. The first thing that I like about this keyboard is now it supports bunch of themes which can be changed accordingly to your preferences. You can also set your own photo which is a very nice option. You can use this keyboard single handedly by reducing the keyboard size. Now you can directly select a word and delete it from the keyboard itself. The next thing you should do is to install the theme which I am running on my Lenovo K4 Note. The name of this theme is OnePlus One OS. It is linked in the description of this video. It has very good icon packs and tons of customizable features. So you should definitely give a try. My third pick for you is Amazing App Lock. Head over to Settings. Now go to Security tab. And now at the bottom you'll find an application lock. Tap on it. Now you can lock any of these apps with the help of your fingerprint scanner. Now I'll select WhatsApp and YouTube. Now you can see that WhatsApp and YouTube are showing the lock symbols. And now I will unlock it with the help of my fingerprint scanner. If you do not have this feature on your Android, then do not worry. I have an alternate solution for you guys. You can download an app called Lockdown Pro. It is available in the Play Store for free. It will help you to lock the apps with the fingerprint sensor. The next thing you should do is to increase the battery performance. Many of the apps keep running in the background eating your battery. So you need to go to settings, power manager, background app management, then tap on restrict all. This will help you to increase the battery life by 2 hours. The last thing you should do is to set permissions on individual app. Now go to app section. Now open any app. Let's select Facebook. And now you can turn off camera, contacts and so on for Facebook. If you turn off the camera, then Facebook will not be able to access the camera. That's it about the video guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for latest updates on tips and tricks.